Hello my beautiful friends, it's Julia here. I'm in my kitchen, it's a beautiful sunny day and today I'm gonna to talk to you about cooking therapy. What is cooking therapy? So cooking therapy is a beautiful practice of really coming into yourself, really being present, being in the present moment. So practicing a mindfulness, an element of mindfulness, using the art of cookery to do that. When you're in the present moment and you're just immersed in the cooking, then you don't have to think about all the other things that are going on, what's going to happen next week or yesterday or whatever it is. You just bring yourself to the present moment and you enjoy the texture, the aroma, the feel of the food, the colours, the vibrancy of what you're cooking, of what you're making. It's just such a rewarding experience and you get to know that you're going to eat something amazing at the end of it. So gratitude in food is about really thinking, where did it come from? The farmer that grew these tomatoes, the delivery driver that took it to the supermarket for you or the whole food shop or wherever it is or the green grocers that you've bought it. The asparagus, again, grown by the farmer, picked by somebody transported for you where did food come from who picked it so who grew it having gratitude for the wonderful ingredients that have been presented to you that you've worked hard you've earned your money you've gone out you've purchased you've bought you've brought home you, you transported it yourself home again all of that is an appreciation is a gratitude for yourself for the people that made it possible for you to have this wonderful produce. It's such a wonderful exercise because it really makes you think about everything else around you, the rest of your life, and how you can be grateful for that and appreciating the small things that you have, the small things around you, the valuable things, family, friends, all of those beautiful things, not just material things. Another aspect of cooking therapy is when you have a sense of adventure, a sense of a creativity. So remember, you don't always have to stick to the recipe. Sometimes we don't always have all the ingredients. You might have a recipe book and there'll be a beautiful list of ingredients in there. But sometimes they're not always gonna fit in with the stuff that you might have in your larder. Or maybe they're just not something that um, you've been able to go out and buy or you haven't been able to find. So use something else, be creative, put something else in its place or leave it out. As long as it doesn't dramatically change the way the dish is, you know, this is about being a bit adventurous. This is about pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. This is about thinking, okay, what could go with that? What could I replace that with? Really thinking out of the box. These are the wonderful things that make cooking so special. Cooking therapy is such a rewarding experience because it gets you to practice mindfulness, you get to practice gratitude, you get to be a little bit adventurous and creative and nutritionally, you get to eat something amazing. You've created it, you've done it. And also, isn't it so rewarding when you've waited You've taken the time to prepare it, you've chopped it, you've touched it, you've felt it, you've whizzed it around in a processor maybe, you've thrown it in the oven, you've coated it in a bit of olive oil, you've used spices and seasonings and herbs and oh, all wonderful things, luscious things that you might have bought either from the local Whole Foods, the greengrocers, the supermarket, or maybe you've grown it in your garden, even better. That is the joy of cooking therapy. I love it. I love having guests over. I love having people coming and cooking with me. I love cooking in big groups because it's such a beneficial experience for everybody. The vibrations and the energy that's created, the vibrations all around us when we're all together and we're cooking makes it such a beautiful experience. So what am I going to cook for you today? Well, we're going to make just something so simple, so tasty, a quinoa salad. It's lovely. We're gonna boil our quinoa, so easy. I've got some dried quinoa, but you know what? If you've got that packet, ready-made quinoa, Merchant Gourmet is a really good brand, no endorsement there, but just really like that brand, then just use that, no problem there. Got some tomatoes, I've got baby plum tomatoes. I love my baby plum tomatoes. I'm just gonna cut them in half, coat them in a bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, bang them in the oven, let them blister for a little bit. That's what you're looking for. 
I've got some beautiful asparagus and I love my asparagus. This is being grown locally. I'm in Folkestone, I'm in Kent, I'm by the sea. Can't think of a better day to be by the sea. The sun is shining, we're in May. It's such an amazing day. I've already been down to the sea to have a quick little walk, go for my morning walk, and it's been amazing. I've got myself some asparagus from the local whole food shop, grown in Kent, absolutely wonderful. I'm just gonna blanch that off. So what that means, I'm just gonna plunge it in some hot boiling water for a few minutes, and then I'm gonna plunge it in some cold water to stop it cooking. Just to take that little crunch, that little, too much crunch that rawness off the asparagus so it's just cooked with a little bit of a bite in it i've got some white cheese got full of calcium all of these ingredients have got amazing properties anyway so you've got vitamin c vitamin k vitamin a you've got folate beautiful all kinds of things that are amazing for the digestion and that's what i really love about this salad the quinoa high in protein got a little bit of cheeky cheese here a bit more protein don't have to have that Got a bit of calcium in it keep it totally vegan i mean this is a vegetarian dish keep it vegan leave out the cheese the quinoa will fill you up anyway it's amazing this in itself is a therapeutic dish lemon juice olive oil for dressing that in itself is pure therapy it's pure music to my heart it's magical i love it i love cooking i love the joy of getting really involved with the ingredients thinking about where they've come from, appreciating who created those ingredients, who grew them for you so that you could buy them and you could bring them home and make magic in your own kitchen. So I'm going to make, I'm going to get my tomatoes ready, prepare them, put them in the oven. I'm going to prepare the rest of my little ingredients and then I'm going to show you how to put your salad together. There's our beautiful tomatoes. I've coated them in some salt, pepper, a bit of olive oil, and I'm gonna put them in the oven now, let them blister. Here's my quinoa. So I boiled that, just simmered it with the lid on for probably about 10, 15 minutes, I reckon. And look, it's just perfect. All the grains falling away, and you know it's ready. It's absorbed all its water, perfectly done. There's my asparagus, everybody, and it's just simmering away now. Probably going to let it simmer for about three minutes, just to take that rawness off it. Um, we still want a bit of bite, though, in there, so you don't want to overdo it and lose that beautiful lush green colour. There's my beautiful Tom straight out of the oven. Look at those babies. They are gorgeous. Here it is. All the ingredients are ready to make our quinoa salad. And let's just put it together. So there's the quinoa. How beautiful is that? My tomatoes. And do you know what? All those lovely juices that came out of the tomatoes, a little bit of olive oil that I use, all that, that's all going to go in there. I'm just going to put it all in. Why not? You know? Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Tomatoes are still a little bit warm. That's okay. Got my asparagus here. I'm going to pop those in as well. It's crazy. I know. Look at that. All those wonderful asparagus. Look. Just mixing it up, just mix it all together. So simple, so simple. I know it looks more like the asparagus is trying to escape out of the bowl. Of course it is, of course it is. And do you know what? I'm gonna use my hands. I'm just gonna use my hands. Look at that, look at that. Maybe a slightly bigger bowl would have been better, but oh well, I like this bowl, it's quite cute. A little bit of crystal. You know, the other great thing about the cooking, about cooking therapy and, you know, why cooking is so therapeutic, because it's the time. It's the time that you've devoted to it. You've devoted that time, but not just to the cooking. You've devoted that time to yourself, that you felt that you actually deserve that time. You took time out. You valued yourself enough to say, do you know what? I want to spend a bit of time making this beautiful, nutritious, colourful, colourful, vibrant, luscious dish because I deserve it. Yes, you do. Right, there we go. Look at that. Oh, that is so gorgeous. I'm actually going to put my lemon juice. I squeeze my lemons. So I want to pop that in there as well. Mix that up. Won't need any more olive oil because, well, there's enough there from the tomatoes. And then look at that, I've got our tomatoes. And you know what? I'm gonna put my little bit of 
cheese on top too and actually it's just really lovely such a simple little salad so nutritious packed full of all the right things for your body look at that let's just be generous get it in there a little bit of red a bit of green i wash my hands let's have a look show you look at that oh that is gorgeous so proud of that it's a beautiful dish really simple doesn't have to be perfect and that's another thing about the cooking it teaches you that you don't need to be perfect no one needs to be a master chef you don't have to have extraordinary skills the mere fact that you've gone in that kitchen that you've had a go that you've taken that time that you've valued what you've done you've been mindful you've poured your heart over this food makes it a special thing to do it's just so rewarding so go ahead cook something make something and see it as a therapeutic experience don't rush it take your time value it appreciate it have a wicked day take care thank you for watching and i'll see you again soon and there you go there's our beautiful salad <laughs>